What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today I'm gonna to teach you one of my absolute favorite, favorite cocktails. It is a, I wanna call it a modern classic, although maybe I'm the one that's fighting to make it a modern classic. It's definitely an original cocktail. It was taught to me, but it's not my original cocktail. Uh, and it was taught to me by my good friend and colleague, Danny Symbol, who I bartended with for many years. Uh, who also learned from some of the top bartenders in the in the country and then he but this isn't his cocktail either I believe this is one of those rare unicorn cocktails that came off the internet and is actually really goddamn good I mean really 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 good so this is going to use that uh, Corpse Reviver number two paper plane spec it's equal parts of three quarters um, it's also kind of utilizes fall flavors and it gets some really good um, it, so it's like pr appropriate for the season, but it also it's got some really good like stuff in it. So let's get into it. I'll show you what we're doing. First thing we're going to do is three quarters of an ounce of Benedictine. Three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Three quarters of an ounce of yellow chartreuse, and I'll give you a little life hack on both the Benedictine and this yellow yellow chartreuse. There are some people who, when I've been making these cocktails, have been asking me, um, oh, well, like, can I use something else in place of Benedictine because it's really expensive and I don't want to buy a big old thing of it and then not use it. But I will say this, that these companies, they make little three, seven, five bottles. So you can usually, so definitely for Benedictine, definitely for chartreuse. Definitely for Cointreau and stuff like that, you can actually find three seven fives, which are half a seven fifty, and usually about twenty bucks. They're about half the price. Um, so that's a little life hack for you guys, just to keep the cost down for making cocktails. And then uh, three quarters of an ounce of gin. Okay. Um, I don't know if I told you guys the name of this cocktail. It's called a Shanghai Gin. I think I forgot it when I was going through my whole thing, but this cocktail is called a Shanghai Gin. We're just add our ice to our tin, add our cocktail, lock our tin, and shake. And then we are going to strain into a coop. And then to garnish, we're just going to do half a lemon wheel. We're just going to place that on it. It's nice because no matter where it goes in a round glass, it kind of sits halfway. So it's like half lemon, half not. There you have it, guys. The Shanghai Gin. Let's taste it. So the most prominent flavor in this drink is going to be that yellow chartreuse, but it pairs really nicely with the spicier notes of the Benedictine. You obviously get your citrus from the lemon, which is going to be a really sharp kind of citrus feel, and you get more booze from the gin. This is a really good fall flavored cocktail, but also quite refreshing. So I think you guys will enjoy it. Anyway, make the drink at home and I'll see you next time.